this is a beautiful, beautiful day to start a hike. There's just something so special to walk along the coast. This is where the lake district begins. Wow, this is really tough going today. This is very, very tough now. It's so hot. Wow, this is so beautiful. I hope that Otto can cope with it. Hi, my name is Ellie. I'm a long-distance hiker and backpacker. Enjoying a cup of coffee with a view is my absolute happy place. And this is Otto, an adopted stray dog, crisps lover and the best hiking companion. Come join us as we explore the great outdoors, one trail at a time. In summer of 2024, Otto and I embarked on one of England's most famous long-distance hikes. Wayne rides coast to coast, a 192 mile long walk across England from west to east. This is part one. Come join us for our first two days where we walked from St. Bees to Borrowdale. everyone and welcome to a new hiking adventure. Otto and I travel to St. Bees this afternoon and tomorrow morning we'll start probably one of the most famous long distance hikes in England which is Wainwright's Coast to Coast, a crossing of the country from the west coast at the Irish Sea where we're currently at to the east coast from St. Bees to Robin Hood's Bay. It's 190 miles so a little bit over 300 kilometers that we're trying to do over the next two weeks, two and a half weeks. We'll see how we get on. This is our last night in a hotel for a while hopefully because I want to uh, camp all the way and white camp where it's possible and yeah where I can find a nice spot if the weather is nice. Just going to get my things ready, um, repack my pack, charge all my things, uh, do some editing before we set off and later tonight hopefully watching a beautiful sunset over the sea as yeah our special treat for today. to carry all across the country and then throwing back into the North Sea at the end which we also did yesterday. So we only have to go to the start point, get our picture taken and then we're off. Ah! <laughs> this is a beautiful beautiful day to start a hike. Wow! Ooh, this is it, the iconic start sign. And we're off! Let's 
let's go. <laughs> This is really nice that we can do some coast walking for the first part of today. Look at that, it's just stunning. There's just something so special to walk along the coast. Wow, look at this. This is so beautiful. the lighthouse and we have a little bit more of coast walking before we turn inland we've done almost six kilometers so time for our first little snack break wow this is so so beautiful Ooh, saying goodbye to the sea and heading inland We are about 15 kilometers in. There's people working in the churchyard and the church is open. So I got to refill my water bottle, which is great. And we're having a little break in the shade here. Ooh, it's so warm now, even though there's a bit of a breeze, but ooh, it's really, really hot. And I think it's quite hard for Otto with the black coat luckily we've been hiking in the shade for a little bit we only have about seven seven point five kilometers left now and we are on our last and biggest climb for today which is the climb up dent hill but after that the rest should mainly be downhill so yay Ooh, this is where we have to go up and look at this view over the sea. Wow, this is beautiful. Ooh, it's so, so, so warm. <laughs> Ooh, this is it. Look at this view. This is Dent Hill. For this first stretch on the coast to coast, I'm aiming to get to Annadale Bridge today, which should be doable. It's only about three and a half miles away, I think, now, and most of it is going downhill. And there's a very famous pub there, and you can camp in the pub garden, which I'm planning to do, and yeah, get some real food and yeah, a pint. Look at that. This is where the Lake District begins. Wow, so stunning. It probably doesn't show on camera, but this is so, so, so steep. Oh, I should have taken out my poles for that. Ooh. Here they are again, the cute sheep that so far I've only seen in the Lake District and I did some googling and if I'm not mistaken they're Herdwick sheep. They have a head a bit like a teddy bear. Cute! 
only about one mile to go to Annadale and yeah I think it's about time it's been quite a tough day in the heat and with some good climbing and yeah really really happy I didn't eat a lot today so I'm really really happy to get some food in the pub and yeah just put up my tent have a rest a sneak peek of Annadale water where we're going to hike along tomorrow wow this is beautiful this is the pub the fox and hounds which is a classic on the coast to coast according to the guidebooks and this is going to be our spot for the night i just set up the tent in the pub garden and it's such a beautiful evening i changed into some clean clothes and now i'm going to rest a little bit and then have dinner and a pint and yeah life is good this is it the end of day one on the coast to coast and it's been a really really nice day it was so nice walking along the sea hearing the waves crashing and yeah then slowly heading to the lake district seeing the higher fells it was really incredible it was quite tough because it was very hot but i think otto managed okay and i did too and yeah tomorrow is supposed to be another very beautiful sunny warm day and i can't wait to explore more of the energy water area and yeah i think it's going to be very very stunning so we'll see you tomorrow good night Good morning everyone on day two of the coast to coast hike. Otto and I just set off from the Fox and Hounds in Ennerdale Bridge. We had a really really good night. It was so peaceful and quiet. There were a couple of other hikers actually that turned up which was really nice because yesterday when I started I didn't see anyone for the first hours basically until I got to Ennerdale Bridge. So I was really happy to meet some other hikers. And now we're on our way to Ennerdale Water and then up to Honester Pass, which is obviously a very yeah, famous uh, pass in the Lake District. I think this is going to be very, very interesting with probably a lot of really nice views. It's probably going to get very, very warm today, but I'm so excited to see the Lake District and yeah, all these places that I read so much about and have seen so many pictures and videos about and yeah, I'm really happy to experience it myself, especially since our hike on the Cumbria way was a bit wet and for a couple of days there weren't really like many views or anything. So I'm even more excited to see some great Lake District fells and yeah, soak it all in. So let's go. The scenery is just so, so, so stunning. Look at all the heather that's blooming, all the nice purple colors. Wow, this is so beautiful. So gorgeous. This would be the perfect spot for a wild camp. Look at that. Wow. The 
path along Enerday water was a bit rocky, a bit up and down and it was a bit harder going but for the next couple of miles we're walking on this track through a woodland area or a forest replantation and yeah at least there's some shade which is really really nice and some easier walking There's an honesty cafe apparently. Let's have a look. This is the YHA Annadale and they have a small honesty cafe and I got a lemonade and some crisps. Yay! <laughs> this has been a really really nice break with some crisps and lemonade and water and an energy bar. Now we are refueled for the next couple of miles. On this stretch, there are actually two different variations. There's one low route, and then there's a higher route that goes up to the fells, and it goes over, I think, Red Pike, High Style, and Haystacks before then coming down to Hornester Pass as well. And I initially wanted to do the high route, but obviously that's, uh, that goes up quite high to over, I think, 800 meters. And since it's so sunny and exposed and quite hard, I think, for Otto with uh, the black coat, I think I'm going to stay on the low route to be at least a little bit in the shade for the next couple of kilometers, because otherwise I think today's a bit too hard for him because it's supposed to be 28 degrees and obviously on the exposed terrain with the sun it's even warmer. Even though it's very hard work today because it's so so warm and there's almost no wind but still it's so worth it. It's so nice just hiking here and enjoying the beautiful area. I don't know if that mountain over there, if that's Great Gable already or if it's behind, I don't know exactly. I'll have to look on the map, but wow, this looks so nice, wow, so wide and open and remote. And another crisp break and lemonade and a banana. <laughs> This is really tough going today. We just had a long lunch break at Black Sail Hut, which is a really, really nice place. Definitely would want to come back and wild camp in the area or stay in the hostel. It's so beautiful, just in the middle of nowhere. It reminds me a bit of the hostel in Glen Affric, just yeah, far away from everything so so beautiful and now we have about eight eight point five kilometers left so basically four um, going uphill to Honester Pass and then another four uh, down into Borodale. There's a farm campsite there with showers much needed today and a hostel that also does food and yeah that's the plan. Now we have to climb up there. Whew. This is very, very tough now. It's so hot and there's no wind. And I hope that Otto can cope with it. Whenever we cross 
extreme I wet his coat and yeah I hope that cools him down a little bit but still it's very very tough today only a little bit to go up there I think that's our highest point for today wow this is perfect there's another water down there but Amir Wow, this is so beautiful. This is where we're heading. This is Borrowdale down there. Apparently this up there, I don't think you can see it. There's some sort of quarry and apparently this is a working slate mine. And down there, that's Honester Pass. And there's a cafe there and toilets and maybe Wi-Fi to check messages and have a little break before our last three, two to three miles. Such a perfect day. It was very tough going uphill in the heat, but still I'm so happy that I got all these views. We are on our way down to Borrowdale and look at this beautiful woodland. It's so warm. I really just want to set up my tent on the campsite and take a shower <laughs> and then get some food and just have a rest. Ooh, this has been quite a tough day. We've made it to the campsite in Borrowdale. The views from the campsite are incredible, but it's supposed to get very, very windy during the night, almost like I think 40, 45 miles per hour. So instead of going for the spot with the best view, I chose a spot in the corner to be a bit wind sheltered and yeah, it's been a tough day overall. I mean, it's been very, very beautiful and so worth it, but it's also been very hard in the heat. My watch showed 30 degrees and yeah, that seemed accurate, especially like where it was really exposed to the sun. So really happy that we've made it. And now Otto is having his dinner and then we're going to walk back to the hostel, which is about 200 meters away and apparently they do food. Wow, look at how stunning and peaceful this is. Wow, this is so beautiful. This is it, the end of day two of our coast to coast hike. Really happy how far we got and so happy that I got to see the lake district and it was so, so beautiful. I just had a really nice meal in the hostel in Borrowdale. I had a vegan burger and some chips and a cider and it was really, really nice. For tomorrow there's a weather warning because of thunderstorms um, probably passing through. So I'm not sure yet if we're going to hike tomorrow or um, at least not in the morning. But for now, we're just getting some rest and yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.